Hey everybody, I'm Linda Barger, your Chancel Choir Director here at First United Methodist Church in Cherryville. The Chancel Choir and I welcome you, our beloved church family and our friends and visitors into our beautiful fellowship hall here where we are this evening. We uh, welcome you into our church sanctuary this Sunday as we have been gathering together since October 11th, and we're so happy to have you in our house of the Lord. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And that brings me to think of the song that we're going to do to get today. We gather together at this Thanksgiving season. Can you believe that it's only about nine days until Thanksgiving, where we hope to either gather together in person with our families, if you've been used to doing that anyway, or whether you get to gather together via Zoom and be with your relatives who are in other areas. I have a friend who connects via Zoom with her family who is in Japan and other nations as well as states. And so Zoom brings them all together for that one time to enjoy each other. The Chancel Choir and I share with you during this time the history behind the songs of the Methodist hymnal. And uh, I tell you the story behind the song and one, two, three, or four choir members come and sing the song for you. And I'm so grateful for our choir family. We love them and we, we all love each other and want to be together all together again. But we are uh, practicing the guidelines that were given to us. And so we can have up to four on Sunday and that's what we do when we practice. Um, we Gather Together was first sung. Can you believe it's Dutch? It's an old 16, early 1600 Dutch melody. And the pilgrims, when they were at Plymouth, when they first came on their dilapidated ships and they made it over here, and planted their crops that they had brought with them, the seeds and all, but they didn't have a very good harvest. And so their Indian friends helped them and planted what they called maize, M-A-I-Z-E, and that was corn. And they tasted it, and it tasted sweet to them. And so they planted in rows and they had a bountiful harvest because the Indians knew that corn was adaptable to the American soil. And so that first harvest of uh, 1620 at Plymouth in America was the first Thanksgiving here in America. But do you know that wasn't the first Thanksgiving so, uh, Sunday when Pastor Zach told about the Jordan River and about its riverbanks flooding at harvest time, I went to his office and I said, Pastor Zach, now I know why the words of the song say, on Jordan's stormy banks I stand. And that's because the banks would overflow at harvest time. Also, the ancient Hebrews had a, a festival that was called Festival of First Fruits, and that was at harvest time. So God has given us a spirit of thankfulness to thank him for his blessings. And last Sunday, when the chancel court, ladies quartet sang, God bless America, that was a prayer to God, to bless our nation, and God has given us many blessings. And today, you are going to be blessed by our chancel choir member, Debbie Gant, 
and she will sing with Tommy Allen on Sunday. And they, uh, several songs. The first one will be We Gather Together, and then uh, a traditional hymn for Thanksgiving time that I love and have sung all of my life since I was in about the fifth grade or something. Bless this house, O oh Lord, we pray. Make it safe by night and day. And so I look forward to hearing that one sung for you. But today, in our chancel uh, lessons period, we are going to have, we gather together. And here are the words. The song is much deeper than I realized it was because as I studied all these different avenues of telling me the background of We Gather Together, I learned that the first verse is actually about the physical blessings, the physical harvest, uh, and it blesses our bodies to nourishment and things like that that are physical and concrete. But the other verses are spiritual, and they are about God's spiritual blessings that lead us to thank him. And so in the end, some of the references told about the final harvest of souls. And so that's an amazing thought to have when you sing, we gather together. So God brings the harvest of our physical blessings to him and also unites it with the harvest of our souls going back to him when Jesus comes again. The words, the first verse, we gather together to ask the Lord's blessing. He chastens and hastens his will to make known. And that's what we Christians are all about doing his will, not what we think we ought to do for him, but doing his will as he guides us to use the gifts he has given us to return back to him with thanksgiving. The wicked oppressing now cease from distressing, sing praises to his name, he forgets not his own. And these blessings lead us to praise him, and praise leads us to sing to him from our hearts. The second verse, and it started off with seven verses, and so in our church hymnal, it is three verses. Beside us to guide us, our God with us joining, ordaining, maintaining his kingdom divine. So from the beginning, the fight we were winning, thou, Lord, wast at our side, all glory be thine. The last verse. We all do extol thee, thou leader triumphant, and pray that thou still our defender will be. Let thy congregation escape tribulation. Remember what I told you about the final harvest? Thy name be ever praised. O oh Lord, make us free. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. And let us give thanksgiving.
Oh,